Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a crazy a town a gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas. I'm the man on the sticks, mm -hmm. and we are playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, Valhalla. We're just playing Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla! Holla! Valhalla so, style! <laughs> Valhalla! Alright, so <laughs> I'm basically hunting down this one ability that allows me to dual wield heavies because I know it exists and I want it and it's up in this direction. But, so I've deviated some of my points. You can, like, call back points at will. So I've been doing that well, a little bit. If you recall your points, does it take away what you've opened up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, like, all of a sudden, it'll be you won't even be able to see it anymore, though? No, uh, you can do that. But once you unlock the entire map, I think it stays unlocked. Oh, uh, like, so that's actually a good play. Is, is try to unlock as much as you can, then call <laughs> them back and be most efficient. Yeah, so, like... Even like this area over here, I've seen that it exists, but I don't have the node that necessarily left over to it. And I could I could go back to like square one if you wanted to, and I can just call back all my points from here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it's a very neat system, but it's kind of just like, why don't you just show me everything then? Well, and, well <laughs> yeah, well, and that's kind of like on Odyssey, you knew what you were unlocking as yeah. you went through, because it was all like generally together you're like oh i want to do arrow stuff yeah but it was level based so like with each level that you got it got new ability depending how many doritos you had unlocked from the very unique point of the game that's this one doesn't i mean doesn't have anything like that it's <laughs> really called the order not the cult yeah man i don't know and you're chasing down your brother not your brother in the order <laughs> i mean excuse me <laughs> We're gonna do some of these guys too. Probably, Ooh, you like probably. doing guys? I, d <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't like that. I just <laughs> thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> Best part: you like the joke and say, "Ooh, I like." That. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, <laughs> nice, it was nice. it was a funny joke. <laughs> Either way, yeah, we're going to do some of these guys. Maybe today. We don't know. Right, we so got to follow this lady to, to go find Wigman, who is actually one of the guys. Not at all. Hey, and why would yeah. I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. <laughs> Orphans of the You're Fens. Alone. Is that story wanderer. mode? It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and all right, little so else. We gotta go find but this these guy. warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family. Nothing short. I've lost <laughs> a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. Yeah. And if your people yet live, we will find them. All right, we will find your people, bring them back, and they will live. Let my people go. So I have a really bad habit of just like walking. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Green water. You not? You don't like it? It's freaking England, dude. I they got it. it, dude. They got like algae and stuff. Dude, Come hot on. Take. Hot take. I didn't care for England all that much. You didn't care for who? England, London. You didn't like it? I mean, it was all right, dude. But like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. This reminded me of the king that was oppressing Whoops. us forever when we came to this country. Dude, that is All the... I thought about was the oppression that we felt from the king. <laughs> All I thought about was the <laughs> oppression. <laughs> That's the best. You didn't even like it. <laughs> it was okay. It was, uh, it was just okay. It was just okay. Yeah, it was see. like it, it was, was like so New York City, but everyone spoke with a British accent, and everything was really old. <laughs> I mean, but it, it was... What the hell was that, dude? A shark? No, it's just a, it's just a group of fish. Um, But yeah, it was like... Uh, but everybody spoke English there. In their own way. Yeah, I mean, they are the originators of the language, Jonas. Not yeah, saying that they're right. No, I'm just saying that this is, it is their language that we're speaking. Now... What do, you, what do you mean now? No, I was about to say another statement. <laughs> now, Scotland, on the other hand, bomb. They speak English, too. Yeah, in their own unique way. And it's way better than oh how we speak it. Uh, wow. Our little Scottish bus driver guy that, like, did oh. our tour, dude, he was cool as ish, dude. He had a sweet accent. He said all sorts of cool words, dude. <laughs> he was putting on a show. Did he have his tip jar out? Did At he? The end. Oh my god, dude! It was a twelve-hour <laughs> tour. Freaking 
own. 12 hour <laughs> tour, dude. Was, he deserved a tip to being with us in a van for 12 hours. He dude. was, fr- it was a show. He was cooning, man. Oh, I'm, f- I'm fine with that. <laughs> he dude. was Irish cooning. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we got, yeah, we were in a 12 person nice. van with this driver, dude. He was just talking. He was like, if you guys want me to tell stories and stuff, I'll do that or we can just drive. And everyone's like, yeah, dude, whatever. He's like, you can ask me questions. And no one in the bus was asking anything. But then you get me. I was like two seats behind him, dude. I just, I just kept feeding him questions <laughs> the whole time, dude. Because I don't care. I'll, I'll blurt anything out. I don't give an ish. And, uh, and the dude was just telling stories. I'm like, oh, well, tell us more about that. <laughs> he would just keep going, dude. Dude, talk nonstop. I that could, was the, I, the best day I had. I could 100% see you doing that. Oh, dude, for sure. I really... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, really, he was really cool, dude. Like, he he actually, like, at the end was like, thanks for, like, engaging me. Like, because, like, like, if no one engages, I just sit there for 12 hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, he was like, sometimes I do these tours and no one talks. No one asks anything the entire trip, and I just yep. sit there like a bump, like a bump on a log. See, and I would be more willing to have that, but you gotta have like just that. I don't give a that. Get, I don't give a f energy. Yeah, yeah. And then on the way, like on the way back, because like he was like, we can either take the boring way on the way there, because it was early in the morning when we met, or we can take the boring way driving through nothing on the way back. And it was boring, but we stopped every so often for, like, a scenic photo shoot of, like, a giant mountain or, like, whatever. And uh, and on the boring way, that's when I was asking all the questions. And then on the way back, there was, like, actually stuff we were stopping more often. And he was, like, put on... He's like, you guys want me to put on some authentic Irish music? On this? And everyone's like, yeah, dude! And it's just, oh I was just like, oh my gosh. It was, <laughs> it was a he didn't have on a kilt, though. It, so. was, it was a tourist attraction. It was a 12 hour guided tour. It'd be like if you were given an Amer- a tour of America, you would just take them to like a bad neighborhood and like have some impromptu like drive by shooting. <laughs> Hire some thugs, get some actors. Yeah. Just like thug number one, two, three, and four, actor, and they like have a pretend. Like, oh my god, we had a drive by. <laughs> like have a real like um, um, a heroin addict just like get on the bus, like do heroin in front of everybody. Everybody's like, ooh. Like, this is what real crack is. Um, this is what no, real meth looks like. Have he, like some meth head pull her boob out on the freaking. He was actually cool though, because he was like, listen. If we do this the right way, we can be the first one of all these tour groups to all these different stops. He's like, but you have to be back when I tell you. And, dude, he was on it. We were literally, the like, the first or second tour every time we stopped. And within 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes of us being there, all the other tour buses would start coming in. And then there would be, like, three, four times as many people. Because they all kind of do the same general tour across, like you know the whole scottish isle or whatever yeah. but it was awesome because we were there first we would be able to get in and get out and be able to like enjoy stuff instead of having to stand in line he, <laughs> dude he was a good effing tour guide like <laughs> like that's probably he knew oh yeah yeah absolutely i, 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 I don't doubt that you might have been like uh right on time with it were you like keeping people in line <laughs> me no no <laughs> everyone like, come on everybody bad. We didn't have any like anyone who's being an a hole and like taking too long at the gift shop or whatever. Taking too long. He at did the take gift us shop. to uh, the castle in Monty Python where they do the the. Uh, it's like I fought in your general direction. That castle, like we got to see that castle where they filmed that. Like, uh, oh really? Yeah, we stopped there. It was like it's like the smallest little castle ever, and it was under renovation, so it had like scaffolding and stuff on the outside of it and part of it. But he's like, yeah, this is where they filmed that. We stopped there for like. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, got to walk around, take pictures, and then he's like, back on the bus, let's go! That's still pretty sweet. Oh, absolutely! We stopped and saw a couple little castles like that. A couple were dilapidated and falling down and ish. And yeah, it was pretty <laughs> sweet, dude. Yeah, it was, dude, that tour was the coolest part of the trip. Like, that, the, the one we took in England was nowhere near as cool. We went to, like, Stonehenge and, like, the, the whatever, Windsor Castle, least, wherever the Queen lives. Yeah, but at least you got to see it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was cool, dude. 
It was, uh, I mean, the price wasn't bad either. I think they were like, the tickets were like 100 bucks for a 12 hour guided tour all the way all over to like Loch Ness and stuff, dude. It was well worth a hundred dollars. And you did it pre pre Rona, man. So, yeah, dude, <laughs> you did yeah. it at like the exact right time. It's all about the company, you keep going. I can't, I can't ever, or maybe, maybe the exact wrong time. Do you want to be the person that does it right before the epidemic? Or right after the epidemic. Oh, dude, I'm gonna take the cheap flights once the pandemic's over. <laughs> once it's over. <laughs> you know what I read though? Is I read that uh, you know, well, I, I've actually seen, and I'm glad that some of the CEOs of these uh, an, uh, vaccine companies have spoke out, sa even saying. Just because we're getting a vaccine does not mean the pandemic's over. It will still be around for a while yeah. after the vaccine, which is nice because they could be lying and being like, "Hey, we're the, we're gonna win the world." But uh, what they said was, is the people who have taken the vaccine, you need two doses, yep. and the first dose you can get pretty sick from it. Yeah. So I'm then right they're now. like, they're afraid people are gonna take the first dose and get sick. Or have symptoms and then and not, not want to come back and get the second dose, then they won't be vaccinated. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, well, and they said most of the time it's it doesn't last more than a day, but you can be kind of sick for a day. Uh, which, which is the same thing I've always said about the flu vaccine, and people swear that doesn't happen. And I'm like, every time I've got it, I've been sick for like a day or two. Yeah, but it can't do that. <laughs> what, the, the flu vaccine? Yeah, it like literally can't do Why? That. Why? How can the Rona vaccine do that and not the flu because vaccine? Because it, it's, it, it's not even a full virus that they give you, but they can only vaccinate you for what they think are the virus is, or what they think the flu is going to be for the season. They can't. It's 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 basically a roll of the die, but it's like you're protecting yourself against what they think is going to be the, the most popular most, strain. The two most common that season. But yeah. Sometimes they're completely so, <laughs> you might you might be batting a thousand for just getting the uh, the flu virus during it or the flu, a different type of flu than the one that they vaccinated you for. But it it literally can't get you sick. It's just that you rode you rode snake eyes. But it's better to be vaccinated against something, something and not need it than need it and not have it. Right, right, absolutely. So, so you know, that's but that's the thing. It's like you know, it's it's the vaccine's great and it will eventually help, but the rollout and the yeah. vaccination thing takes a long time. It's and, not. <laughs> yeah, and who's to say that it won't be similar similar issues with with this one? That it's like. Well, right, because you already got the mink corona. If that starts <laughs> so, spreading, dude. The mink corona. The mink corona, dude. The mink corona. Yeah, dude, you got the corona and the mink corona. Oh. Ma -ma -ma my mink corona. <laughs> <laughs> my Mancona. Dude, I just feel bad that all the minks have to be killed. Uh, yeah, it sucks, dude. Hey, I found him. Oh, there dude. he is. Been looking all over for you, dude. <laughs> Gallen, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor yes. and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp. Right, As I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. I don't know what that means, but you, good, good job. Keep it up. All right, we found one. Yay. Now Let's we gotta find the other duh. Where the hell? Okay, hold on. You lost me, bird. You lost me, bird. Is that? Oh, maybe that was the only one fine. Oh, no, there are three of them, too. I, but I can't, like, zoom in. It's not giving me the area. Maybe it will. Maybe I'll just search this area for a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Dude. We'll, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. We're going to figure it out. man, Gallen. Yes. And a man of the gods. He carries them around in his mind as a tree bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy, but it keeps our spirits light, knowing the gods give us favor. 
String around it. Mm. Oh, gross, dude. That's the what? grossest kind, dude. <laughs> what? Are you serious right oh, now? Dude, Bologna's gross, dude. dude. With the red string? Just any Bologna, dude. Gross. I remember I used to floss with that. Oh! <laughs> oh, like a little Bologna grease uh, between dude, the teeth. I was a fucking. I mean, I was a freaking effed up kid, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, Jonas, I did it. I said the F word twice. twice now, dude. You're twice. that you're F guy, dude. Twice, dude. Oh, there was my something God. I was going to ask you about or tell you about. What's oh, that? I remember. How much time do we have left? Do we, we, gotta know. We, got a, we got like at least five minutes? Sure. Okay. We did always got that, time for a story. Did you watch that video I sent you that was like the uh, link the uh, uh, from the All Gas No Breaks <laughs> video? Did you watch <laughs> dude, any of it? I did not, no. Did you at least click the link so it came up and you saw what it was? I did see what it was, but I did not watch any of it. <laughs> Dude, it was like all gas, no brakes, but like with like a super nerd like running around at like that. What do you mean a super nerd? He's like, you know, like the all gas, no brakes guy's kind of nerdy, but he's like very like deadpan and like real serious about everything. Yeah. Get like the other guy, he's like nerdy, but like the like the extrovert nerd who's just like he'd be like <laughs> dude, <laughs> he, he enters a rap battle at the at the gathering of the juggalos oh sweet good, good. and he's like talking and she's like he's like how'd you guys meet she was like meh <laughs> 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 It is so worth Like, I started watching. I was like, oh, my God, it's 15 minutes. Next thing I know, I'm like, oh, it's over. <laughs> he was just like, oh, my God, dude. He was just like, what did he say? He, he kept saying to the people, he'd be like, magnets, how do they work? Yeah, <laughs> dude, for real. <laughs> dude, magnets, how do they work? And then and then some guy was like, right? And he was like, no, really. See how it works is there's electrons? And the guy was like, <laughs> did you just try to teach me something about <laughs> Did you just try to teach me about magnets? Yeah, yeah, dude, it was it was pretty good, and I guess he he kind of is well known because like what was even it, what was the name of Joe you know, something? You no, know, plug him, plug him right. Uh, but uh, but even during the rap battle, they were like, yeah, I recognize you from YouTube. So he and this is like a six year old video. I don't know if he still does it or whatever, uh, but he kind of goes around does the same kind of thing. That no, no, all gas, no brakes guy does, but in a different way. Show me what lies ahead. Yeah, if he's recognized, he's recognized. You know what I saw today though. What's the all that? gas no breaks guy yeah. almost has he he has a Patreon. Uh huh. Five dollars a month. <laughs> what does he show on there? <laughs> oh wait, he, no, it's Patreon, not he only has, fans. He has a goal yeah. that if he hits a certain amount of fans, he'll start his podcast officially. He'll start doing international all gas no breaks once COVID's over. Guess how many guess how many fans this dude has? Take enough, a wild guess. Enough to get it, I'm assuming. Uh, a million? Two million? People paying $5 a month. T yeah. He's closing in on 20000 And 20000 is his goal. That's $100,000 <clears> a month. That's pretty good. So, and then, um, then Patreon probably takes 20%. So the dude's probably making a million dollars a year. Oof. Yeah. For making all gas, no breaks. <clears throat> yeah, man. Dude, I, yeah. once COVID's over, we're starting all crazy. No, I could, I could see him having his own show. Uh, I'm gonna start doing that when COVID's over. What are you gonna do? It's gonna be called, it's gonna be called all crazy, no sane. <laughs> You're just gonna take his idea? I'm just gonna go to places and interview people. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the exact. Dude, trust me, I can make it different. But like, I think I could do that, something similar to that, and it would be very good. I think we should go talk to people at crazy events. Because we got the H4N, mm. dude. We can put batteries in it. It's travel. You can travel with it. I mean, I'm fine with talking to people at public events, and but I don't want to, like, I don't know. You don't be on cam. I have my high-end camera I just bought. It does video. It does, it does 1080p, 60 frame a second video. You can be the recording me interviewing the people. <laughs> you gonna turn me into the cameraman? If you, if you don't want to be on cam, bro. Or we can. Oh, I could be like, I could be like, uh, like Jenny. Jenny, 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 bring that up. Yeah, sure. Or, or we can alternate. Sometimes I'll name? record you interviewing people. Sometimes you'll do me. Yeah. What's the name from the Joe Rogan podcast? Oh, I have no idea. I don't listen to it. 
Oh, okay. Well, the girl, he's always having like to bring up the information. Anyway. Like his yeah, intern? I guess so. More like his probably like for producer. Or like, uh, I don't know, probably like hired help. I don't know, dude. But yeah, fine, Jonas. Whatever you want. I mean, I'm always game to get in there and talk to people. But you know what? I'm going to give you the real Jonas, and this is just a little insight on what it is to be black in America. When I think of the fact that we live in the South, and yeah. in Texas for that matter, I'm not going to go up and talk to random people, all right? Because okay. certain people may say things where, you know, where you to a guy who did an all gas, no breaks, and wasn't me, they'd be perfectly fine with. What if I break the ice? Eh, I mean that's cool and all, but, but then but it's still, you're still I, we're still I, on risk of having. We're to still rolling the die on something racist happening. Whereas if you were to do it, there's no die to be rolled. There's no die. There's no die. Yeah. yeah. So that I is mean, a like, concern of mine. Yeah, and I don't want I don't want uh, you to feel bad. I don't want you to feel. I don't, feel, I don't well, feel no, let's see. Bad. I don't want I don't want anything to happen that would make you feel bad. Yeah. I don't want you to have to kill a man. Sex. I don't want to have to kill a man either for insulting my friend. So, like, I feel you on that. I don't think I would kill anybody, but, you know. Right. Like, it just puts it puts puts us in a bad situation if something if someone runs their mouth off the yeah. improper way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, and I can, I can be mature. It's fine. But, right, right. But at the same time, or we could not put ourselves in those situations. <laughs> I just want to do something cool, dude. I mean, I'm fine with it either way. The day they the day they downgrade the pandemic to epidemic, we're out. We're taking a trip to Mongolia and we're gonna look up people in the streets. <laughs> Mongolia? Yep. Why Mongolia? Well we gotta go somewhere we can communicate with the public. So wherever. Anywhere. Egypt. Go to the pyramids and talk to people that are like revent rent. Oh my god, he has a spear through his body and he's talking. You know, just something like that. <laughs> You know people like that who have spears for their bodies and keep talking? I guess you don't pull them out, dude. <laughs> it's like the people get hit by a train and they're all twisted up. I'm not going to car I'm not going to accidents and talking to the people on camera. Oh, I thought never mind. I thought you were talking in jest, not like specifically like No, I don't want to go talk to people who are dying. Definitely not. This house being our first. Yeah, dude, we could do something fun. I pitched a cabin nearby. Under dude, a if we went to downtown Austin we'll during like the any, Thank you so like the gay pride parade, well, the motorcycle event, that I would do. Any of those, dude. Well, we just I go down do. there and talk to people. There's enough unique people in Austin. We could just do an Austin only version of this, and it would yeah, probably be okay. It, probably. <laughs> But you're still at die, you see. You even said probably. I love it. Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I love I mean it. we even have, I mean, just the fact that we can go it. and talk to hipsters about being yeah. hip. <laughs> and you know what, honestly, Jonas, if I was like, uh, like the, uh, what do you call that? The Getty Images, like, black dude, I'd be fine with that, man. What? But, What's you know, the Getty Images? <laughs> you know, like, com like, comfortable black. What does that mean? <laughs> I guess I don't understand. The Getty Images book? <laughs> like the stock photo? Yeah, book. like if I was like, if I was like, oh, you type up strange. black guy on Google and you get a picture of just like, you know, the, just a stock photo of like a black dude in a business suit. Maybe you just wear a suit. <laughs> I'm not wearing a goddamn suit. I don't feel like I need to wear a suit. No, dude. You'd look sharp in a suit, though, this? probably out there. You, we'd have to just beat off all the women, dude. Wait, to beat off all the women? Because they'd be trying to get with you. Be like, oh, listen, nice. girl, we doing work. I'm not beating off any women, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Figur you that right now. Figuratively beating off the women. Uh, yeah, well, you can beat off the women. <laughs> I, I mean, don't. You can have all of them, dude. I don't want to hit any women. Not, ha not hit them. Hit it. Oh, my gosh, Jonas. No. They're going to be throwing their pants at you. I mean, they do that now, and I'm <laughs> just like, young lady, I'm not doing your laundry. Oh, you're like, why are you throwing these dirty clothes at me? I want to get that. It's down there, though. All right, Jonas, I think that's on the next one, though. We're going to figure out how to get this gold, though. I can tell you that much All right, right well, that's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've done that, he does Twitch. Like TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch. That is, uh... <laughs> 
twitch.tv and just backslash TN Torb the Anamite. TN Torbamite. That freaking Jonas says face. Dot com. I should get I should get that domain, Jonas'face.com. Jonas. TNT. I'll catch you on the next one. We are out.